Hey up everybody, Magpie9901 here and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at this game, Planet Coaster. Um, came out a week ago Friday on Steam, kind of an impulse purchase by me because I didn't really know much about the game before it came along. I um, just saw it, liked the look of it and bought it and I've just started to play it the last few days. Um, this is my little theme park that I've been building. These uh, coasters look a bit insane at the moment. But if you ever back in the day played Roller Coaster Tycoon, then you will definitely be able to relate to this game. It's much along the same lines as that. Basically, just building your own theme park. It's centered around the roller coasters, obviously. That's why it's called Planet Coaster. But there are lots of other uh, parts of it that are there to be built. There's the rides like these ones here. You've got the carousel rides and the swing rides. <clears throat> Excuse me, by the way, because I'm still full of cold. But I just can't not record no more. I need to get some videos done. So you're just going to have to put up with my voice. If I can, I'll cut the coughing out. If at any point I do start coughing. But yeah, it's a sweet little game, this. You get all the little shops and that. You can zoom right in so that you can see everything in really close up detail. I'm loving the amount of detail in this game, it's brilliant. You can get right in there and get right up to the people. Obviously, there's, well, there's a little bit of rubbish here. I've just put these bins down because I've got a bit of a rubbish problem, as you can see. Hopefully, uh, my um, janitor will be along soon to clean all of this up because this is just appalling. Oh, look at that. Jesus. Whoops. Anyway, never mind. So yeah, it's a pretty good looking game, graphics are brilliant, good sound on it, um, it's very early days for me with this game, but I'm enjoying it quite a lot. There's a lot of detail into it, I haven't gone that in depth with it yet because I've only been playing it for a few days. I've built this log flume and this coaster, now I haven't built them personally, I haven't designed them, they were just the designs that are already included in the game, of which you get quite a lot. You get the custom ones here, these are obviously the ones that you can build and there's plenty to choose from as you can see. All the different makeups of rides, the ones that carry lots of people down to the ones that carry just one and two. And then you've got blueprint ones which are the ready made ones, like this one. You can just place them anywhere that you want in the park and then use those. Now one of the things that I remember from back in the day was the very first time that I saw Roller Coaster Tycoon, I was in the local shopping centre with a good friend of mine and we was looking in a computer store there and it had a demo of Roller Coaster Tycoon running on a PC in the window. A big bulky bloody 15 inch monitor, it was one of those beige things that you just don't see anymore. But the thing that caught me was the fact that you could ride this coaster from the perspective of the person that was on it. It was a first person coaster and I'd never seen anything like that in a computer game before. And just recently, around that time, I'd just purchased my first PC. So as soon as I had the money, I bought Roller Coaster Tycoon. And was really, really disappointed to learn that my PC was not powerful enough to run the graphics to view the coaster from the first person perspective. So I was a little bit annoyed with that, but... I still loved the game regardless and it was just it makes a good change from all the FPS games that I play you know the Call of Duties and the Battlefields and things like that it was good just to have a nice quiet peaceful simulator game so and this is just what caught me about that this is the cinematic view that you can do when you're looking at one of the rides it'll obviously switch cameras around as you go and then you can view it from the person's perspective in it. Alright dude, he's excited, look, oh, hey. And this is what it's all about, being able to see it from their view. It's awesome. Oh, hands up. This one's not scared. Yeehaw! And I just think this is pretty cool in the game. It's, uh, yep, they're definitely enjoying themselves. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> That's it. 
But yeah, it's a cool little game. I'm enjoying it. And one of the good things about this game is that it is directly plugged into the Steam Workshop from within the game. So you can actually download other people's creations directly into your game. And that's a big bonus because although you do get a lot of content with the game, it's always good to have a lot more and you definitely get a lot more. The, the Steam Workshop is just filling up daily with new roller coasters, new scenery, new shops. You know, it's it's looking really good for this game. And it's definitely going to be something that I'm going to play for quite a while, I reckon. I'm enjoying it. This pack's a little it's a little bland at the moment. It definitely needs a bit of air. Uh, bit of creativity putting into it. You see I've been uh, experimenting a little bit with some bushes and stuff. But yeah, brilliant game. I'm really enjoying it. Plus the options. You can customise pretty much everything in this game. You can customise the colour of your rides. I've changed the colour of this one a little bit. You can change what you charge for rides. Um, everything basically you can change when the ride starts, does it start with half a load, do you wait for a full load, you can change the maximum amount of waiting time for it to fill up, etc, etc, it's quite an in-depth game, certainly not something that you could just jump into and expect to be able to play straight off, there's a bit of a learning curve. Now there are different modes to play within the game, this is just a sandbox mode. I thought that was safest to start with until I'd got into the game a little bit. There's a challenge mode and a career mode. So I'm going to have a go at them at some point once I've got used to everything within the game. But yeah, I'm liking it. I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I could have done a worse impulse purchase. You know, I've done no research on this game whatsoever before I buy a game and think about doing videos for it. I like to look into the games. You know, if I at first don't know much about it, and this one I didn't do too much of that, but I'm liking this one. I really need to sort out that freaking, what you call it, and get another janitor in. I don't know where the other two are, but look, there we go. It's cleaning away already. Could probably do it with some bins as well. Let's give him a bin. Yeah, just do a simple one like that. There we go. Even though there's plenty already around, we'll place a couple more. That should sort out the problem along here. So yeah, if you're into, especially if you're into simulation games, then you will like this one. It's definitely got everything in it that you would want out of a simulation game. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and feelings on this game. Have you purchased it? Are you looking to purchase it? Are you looking to watch a bit more content first before you decide to jump in? You know, I just jumped in from the off, didn't really think about it, but I'm not regretting it. It's a good game. What's this? The digitizer has broke down. Oh no. Bugger. What's wrong with it? Rad broken down. Maintenance. Request inspection. Inspection overdue. Oh well. There's going to be some peeved off people there. These people aren't going to be looking too... I don't know. They've still got a smile on his face. He doesn't look too bad. They're probably thinking, yeah, look, it's a nice sunny day. We'll just go ride something else until this one's fixed. Not sure about them people that are stuck on there. They're like, oh, dear. Smoke coming out of it. That's it. Just press all the buttons. Love it. Might go. You know, you never know. But yeah, I'm going to be doing some more videos for this over the coming days, weeks, months, maybe. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how big we can get this park. I'm assuming that you maybe only get this area to build in, or do you get all of this? I don't know. We'll soon find out. Anyway, if you like the video, folks, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I shall catch you in the next video. Take care.